a request to um, shoot a, a video at 65 miles an hour what the energy consumption is um, so I'm going to reset the odometer or I'll reset the trip meter right now it's showing 4.1 well 4.0 at 157 miles I have uh, it's charged up hilltop mode um, 88 percent and I'm going to do about a 30 mile trip at 65 miles an hour the wind is out of the north 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 by northwest at two miles an hour just a little bit of wind I have the air conditioner set at 70 degrees it is a few minutes before 9 central time in the morning so it's not as hot as it would normally be but it's rare that we have almost a just a very, very slight wind here. I have found in the Chevy Bolt as I travel down the freeway. You see, I've been one mile. I'm going 65 miles an hour. I found uh, as I've used this car, that the, the uh, speedometer is extremely accurate. If it says that I'm going 65 miles an hour, I'm going 65 miles an hour with the standard tires. Here, the sound level is a little bit more than it would be because I got the fan running. Um, right now it's 71 degrees. I have the uh, air conditioning set at 70, so it's kicking on and using power like it would be. Uh, when I did the other range test at 56 and 75 miles an hour, uh, it was a little warmer, but I had the air conditioner set at 71 degrees. I try to keep my tire pressure over 40, so it's between 41 and 42. Just want you to be aware of, let me focus out there, we have smoke coming from California, which is probably about 1,500 miles away from here. Uh, yesterday, it hit here yesterday, and my solar production's probably been off by about 20%. Traveling north, and just so you know, even a slight wind affects your Consumption, which is going at 18 kilowatts, 18,000 watts it's using right now. I'm traveling north with a little north by northwest wind, which is the exact direction I'm headed in right now. Um, just so you can see that the, um, I know the sun shining on it, we use 3% climate, 97% driving. 7.8 kilowatts for 31, 30.1 miles so far. It's 73 degrees. Okay, I'm done with my little 65 mile an hour trip. Uh, it says a uh, average 3.9. I would say 3.8 would be a safer assumption on the consumption of, because um, it was 3.8 until I came to a stop and that regenerated enough to bring it up to 3.9. So between 3.8, 3.9 for our little 35 mile an hour round trip. And as I say, there was a slight, slight wind, which affects any wind, it affects it. I have found that 62 miles an hour, I'm gonna average four miles, four, 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Just to side note that I came back from, uh, I went on a, up I-29 on the freeway I was going 50 miles an hour just to see what the range would get I went about 30 miles at 50 miles an hour and it was 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour that's over 300 mile range on a 100% charge uh, just so you know it's 73 degrees we use 9.6 kilowatt hours uh, the air conditioning right now is set at 68 to give you a 5 degree difference here uh, and it says it's consuming one kilowatt. Um, a side note, another side note that there are DC quick chargers in three locations up here in North Dakota now that are available, and they do not charge for them, but they're only 25 kilowatt hour uh, chargers. Vickers Chevrolet in uh, Winnipeg on Regent on the northwest side of the building, behind the building, the north side of the building, and the west corner, there is a DC quick charger.
Uh, there's also one installed stall in Fargo, North Dakota at uh, Gateway Chevrolet Cadillac. Uh, I haven't tried that one out yet. I tried the one at Vickers and I got 17 kilowatts out of it, but I was over 50% charged, so I can't tell you what it would be under that. Um, and there's also one at uh, Rydale Chevrolet inside the garage. They will charge and there's no charge for that one also. That's a freebie and that's only a 25 kilowatt uh, hour DC, CCS DC quick charger for CCS vehicles. But anyway, I'm glad to see that there's three within the places I go. And now I can drive my car to Fargo without worrying about rain anxiety because, um, and again, I will be driving at 62 miles an hour and I will put 100% charge when they go down to Fargo. So I don't have to spend an hour there at the DC quick charger. That's it.